just a moment. But let's bring in now Mark Meckler. He's the president of the Convention of States. Next guest on our program, we'll talk more about President Trump's rally tonight. Mark, great to talk to you. Good to be with you. Mark, Trump had a lot to say about Biden desperately relying on corrupt foreign oil countries uh, for oil. Of course, that's something a lot of Americans see and agree with the president, former President Trump. Let's listen to what he said tonight down in Florence. Biden is crawling around the globe on his knees, begging and pleading for mercy from Saudi Arabia, Iran and Venezuela. I mean, it's true, Mark. It really is. I mean, Saudi won't even take our calls, apparently. So, you know, the president, uh, President Trump clearly uh, taking direct aim at, at Biden tonight. And, and not only that, Saudi Arabia won't take our calls. And Iran has returned yes. the phone call by launching rockets into Iraq. So, you know, President Trump talking about the lack of respect on the global stage, Mark, for this current president. And, you know, I take no pleasure in talking about it, but that's where we're at. That's the reality of it. Yeah, that is where we are at. And, you know, I spend my time traveling all over the country and meeting with grassroots folks all over the country. So I know how Americans feel about this. We pull a lot of these issues. Americans are really frustrated. And by the way, this crosses party lines. They believe that we should be drilling for oil, producing our own energy. They believe that President Biden has made us weaker, is continuing to make us weaker, and they're not happy about it. In this, you know, this should never be a conversation again based on what we're seeing now where the American president is forced to go hat in hand to countries like Venezuela and Iran, you know, asking for, for more oil. You, you mentioned this, Mark, and it's absolutely true. If you talk to anyone nowadays, they understand and they appreciate, of course, anyone who knows now and feels the pain at the pump, the importance of energy policy and energy security is national security. There should be no question about that moving forward. But... There probably will be. <laughs> there should be no question. And this should be bipartisan. And we are seeing some Democrats come around, uh, Menendez coming around, and we're seeing it at the state level for sure, some Democrats coming around saying we need to be energy independent. I live here in the great state of Texas. We could produce as much oil as is needed for this country. We need the federal government to free up our resources and to promote domestic energy production. I mean, these are kitchen table issues, too. Americans are suffering. Um, there seem to be tone deaf here. These are people that get driven around to places in Washington and they're not <laughs> filling up their trucks. They're not as, you know, you're in Texas trying to buy food for the kids and the family and make it to work. Well, you know, and I, I'm not taking credit for this. I can't remember who actually said it, but I saw somebody say this, Mark, that the same people, Elizabeth Warren, who are telling you that Elon Musk makes too much money and doesn't pay enough taxes are also telling us that we all need to go out and buy Teslas. And uh, the government's going to help subsidize that. I, they're, it doesn't make any sense to anyone. Uh, and, and the fact that they expect us just to go out and buy electric cars when those cost fifty, sixty thousand dollars sometime. The Democratic Party, I don't think, has ever been more out of touch with the average middle class American family. Yeah, that's correct. The average price of an electric car after subsidies in the United States of America is fifty five thousand dollars. The average family in America simply cannot afford that. It's outrageous and it's offensive. Mm -hmm. What they're saying is basically, hey, America's for rich people. If you're middle class, if you're lower middle class, if you're at the lower rungs of the income ladder, we don't really care about you. Right. And if you can't afford one of their electric cars, they'll get one of their electric buses to drive you around. One of those buses that Kamala Harris says is her favorite topic. Oh, yes, of course. And when you have Elon Musk saying, please, uh, we need to produce our own oil and he makes electric cars, then you know we're really in an upside down world here, Mark. Um, and a lot of people are shaking their heads saying, how did we get here when we were energy dependent under Trump? Mark Meckler, great to have you with us and thank you so much for your insight tonight. We appreciate it. I'm here live in Philadelphia at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. When you hear the phrase, lives, fortunes, and sacred honor, these are the folks we should think of, those who anonymously gave their lives. Well, today you have a chance to volunteer. You need to volunteer for conventionofstates.com, the movement that's going to save the country. These folks are willing to step up and give everything. We need you to give just a little bit. Go to conventionofstates.com and volunteer today.